Hi, now we are going to discuss about the gradient color in this video. As in the previous video, we saw how to do the manipulations with the colors in terms of the opacity. Now here, what we will do as the name says it's gradient colors means it's going to be gradient means we will use multiple colors and one after another those colors will come in a series and will give a very beautiful look in the output. So let's see what all options are available with CSS3 to make the set of colors as the gradient color. So as far as the implementation of gradient color is concerned, here I have taken an ID selector with the name grad1 and later I am applying this to a div. Now let's see what all changes I have made inside this ID selector. So the first is the height. I want 100 pixel height for this particular div. After that, the, you can see that there are a number of background options. So basically it is just because of the different browsers compatibility. Like the WebKit linear will work for the browsers like Chrome, Safari. This one is for the Opera. This one is for the Mozilla Firefox and this one is the default one. All right, like the browsers uh, Internet Explorer and all. So we have different options, but obviously whichever the browser is, I would like to give the same effect to all. So pink and green. I have added a couple of colors out here. So let's see how the output will look like. And here you can see that this is the output right by default it is coming from top to bottom but if you want to change the direction you can just add one more parameter that is left left like from left to right so i will add left in all the ones all right so now you can see starting from left it is going towards right so these are the couple of directions like from top to down from left to right similarly you can give these styles for the diagonal gradient colors also. For that, you will have to tell a couple of directions like left top. That is the starting position. All right. So let's see the browser output. Like here you can see red, blue. So left top, it is starting from red and then diagonally it is changing its color. And at, right, at the last, it is blue in color. All right. Since red and blue are the two different colors out here. So these are the things where I'm using the linear gradient, like it could be from top to down, from left to right or from diagonal. Now let's see some available options for the radial means this, if I want some circular in the gradient, let's see how those work. So for that, rather than linear keyword here, radial keyword will be used. I'm using height and width both for now. You can just continue with the height also as we were doing earlier and now here you can see the difference like red green and pink all right since there are three colors you can pass the percentage like how much width you want in each color so pink 60 percent green 15 percent five for red all right so let's see the output now and here you can see all right so this is how the radial gradient will work starting from the last means this one is the inner one, then the outer and the outermost. All right. If you want, you can add more colors in the same method. You can also use the repetitive option for that. Like for example, if you have a couple of colors and you want them to keep repeating unless a particular time comes, you can do that as well. And how we can do that? Just by adding this repeating keyword. All right, so now the method is WebKit repeating radial gradient or for Opera, for uh, Mozilla, for any particular browser. All right, so I'm just using a couple of colors like 10% for yellow, 15% for green. And after that, because it's just covering the 25%. So after that, it will keep repeating. All right, that's why I'm using repeating out here. All right, so let's see the output here. Now you can see, okay. so. Every time this green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow is keep repeating itself. So this is how you can work with the different options available with CSS3 regarding the gradient colors. Either it's for repeating, either it's for linear or radial.